Hey there, I'm Dassey from PartnersInCrimeGFX.com and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make cartoon intro text in Blender. If you don't have Blender, you can download it by using the link in the description. And if you want access to the tutorial result and access to special Patreon-only intro templates and outro templates, you can check out our Patreon and help support our channel for just $1 a month by using the link in the description. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a like for more Blender tutorials and Blender templates. So once you've opened up Blender, the first thing you're going to want to do is press numpad 7 and then control alt numpad 0 to go into camera view. And we're going to press X on our keyboard and we're going to press delete. And we're just going to drag this up a bit and we're going to press add text. And what we're going to do is go over into the text settings and change the alignment to center. And we're just going to scroll in here. And now we're going to press tab and erase this text and type our own custom text. So in all caps, I'm going to type Jenny. You can type whatever you'd like to type here. And I'm just going to press tab to confirm. And so now what I'm going to do is change the font. So you're going to want to go to wherever you've stored the font on your computer. Just click this folder icon, and then go to wherever you've stored the font you've downloaded, and then just open it up. And we're just going to open up American Captain font. It's linked in the description. And we're just going to press open font. And we're going to drag this down a bit, and we're going to press S and size that up, and we're just going to press enter. So now we're going to start making our gradient text. So we're just going to split this screen, and we're going to go into the node editor, and we're going to check use nodes after we add a new material, and we're just going to check that. And we're going to start adding our nodes. So we're going to add input geometry we're going to add color hue saturation and we're going to add converter color ramp we're going to add converter separate rgb and we're just going to drag this up here and we're going to start hooking up our nodes so we're going to Hook the orco up into the color of the image, and we're going to put the G and the, the green in the factor of the color ramp. Just going to drag this out here, and we're going to put the color of the hue saturation note into the color of the material. And we're just going to hook the color into the color of the hue saturation value node. And we're going to give this a new texture. I'm going to change the saturation to 1.1. And we're going to put the value up to 2. And we're going to go into render view and see how that looks. And as you can see, we have a gradient material. So we're just going to drag this down a bit. I'm going to drag this black color up. And that way you can see the gradient a lot better. And so now we're going to start changing the color. So our front text, we're going to put this hex color, B10D7D. And we're going to put the second text as FF50C7. And we're going to press the plus here and add another color in. And we're going to put F99FF4. And as you can see, we have our gradient text. So we're just going to drag this down a bit. 0.470. All right, and as you can see, we have a gradient text in the front. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into Solid View, and I'm going to change the location of this text. Put the X location at 0.01319. And I'm going to put this at negative 0.30168. And I'm going to put the Z as negative 0.80612. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and change the offset to, let's put that at negative 0 
All right, and we're just going to rotate this on the x-axis, and we're going to put negative 8.95. And what we're going to do now is we're going to press Shift D on our text. We're going to put the offset back up to zero, and what we're going to do is we're going to change the color to white. So we're going to delete this material off this text by pressing X and giving it a new material, checking shadeless, and we're just going to make it white. Now we're going to move it back on the Z axis and we're going to put it at negative 0 0.80612. We're going to put it at negative 0 0.83624. And we're just going to change the y to negative 0 0.29800. And we're going to go into render view and see how that looks. And as you can see, we've got a white outline for our text now. So we're going to go back into solid view. And we're going to press Shift D, and we're going to right click so we have another text. And what we're going to do now is we're going to change the text color. So we're going to press a plus on that material. And we're going to put it at 6D0060. And that gives us a darker text. And we're just going to go into the object settings, and we're going to change the Y location. We're going to put it at negative. 0 0.33075 and we're going to put the Z at 0 0.83624 put a negative in front of that and we're going to go into render view and see how that looks and as you can see we have a darker text object under the white text object. So we're going to go into solid view. And what we're going to do now is we're going to press shift D. I'm going to right click on that. And we're just going to move this back a bit. And we're going to press plus on that material. So it has its own material. And we're going to put it as D9, D9, D9. I'm going to go into render view, see how that looks. And we can't see our back text too much just yet, so we're going to go back into solid view. And we're going to change the extrude value on it, and we're going to put it at 0 0.320. And we're going to put the bevel depth at 0 0.015. And we're going to go into the object settings, and we're just going to change the Y location to negative 0. 0.39551. I'm going to change the Z location to negative 1.41469. And we're going to go into render view and see how that looks. I'm just going to move it back on the Z axis just a little bit more. And as you can see, we have some cartoon enter text. So we're going to right click on our text now. And what we're going to do now is we're going to change the color just a little bit. So we're going to make these a little bit brighter. I'm going to put the saturation up a little bit more. So we're going to drag this down further. And we're going to give this a little bit more of a purplish pink. And we're just going to brighten that up a bit. So now, as you can see, we've made our cartoon intro text. So thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe and like this video for more Blender tutorials and Blender templates.